It's a chilly night outside Alphond Arena, but the action is about to heat up inside as the sixth rank Maine Black Bears go for a sweep against the Merrimack Warriors. And we come back to a main goal. Only 17 seconds into the game. Oh, nice play by McCarr to get it to Holt, the guy we talked about last night who gets pucks through to the net. Now, Wallstrom can't find it. It's bouncing around. The only guy that really knows where it is is Ross Mitten as he's right there. It comes back out to him off the... Fowler got it to Russell. Russell walks it in, save Wallstrom. Games, 60th out of 62 teams that have played games in Division I so far this year. Percent, Maine's penalty kill, 20 of 23, 87%. Saved by Boya, wasn't sure. With the puck now is Bribel turned it over. Here comes Fowler, shorthanded, had his stick lifted as he tried to back. And losing that one is Cam Kungel. Russell, great move, backhander, save Wallstrom. Right point, now to the top of the slot. Scott back to Holt, one-timer redirected. Wallstrom is able to smother it. Back to Jurasevich from, uh, from Fowler. Good one touch by Mitten, that is in on the doorstep. Wallstrom makes the save on Scott to the left circle. Gives to Russell, one-timer, Holt redirected off the Merrimack stick of Cranston wide. Friel couldn't get it, McCarr out front, save, rebound, score! Thomas Friel has five goals this season, and they're all on the power play. Two-nothing Maine. Well, so great to see Maine's power play Really just uh, firing on all cylinders. They just pucks to the net and then bodies to the net. Watch as McCarr gets the initial shot and the putback comes right out. In Roy and Komarov do battle for the puck in the final 10 seconds of the period. Chabrier to the front. That one tipped on and stopped by Wallstrom. Merrimack scrambles it down. Boya out to play it to avoid a Merrimack chance for Caden Cranston. And the first period comes to an end. So Maine bookends the period with goals one. He sends back ahead. One touch by Russell to Fowler. Fowler shoots it. Big rebound, but on the wrong side for Breen to hand. I mentioned how much I like the transfer portal, right? You have mentioned it, yes. <laughs> that, it really is work for Maine. I mean, you look at uh, the guys that they brought in this year. Every single one of them have been productive. And, uh, man, where would Maine be without them? Nadeau got it to Friel. Scott cutting to the goal and scores! Freel to Scott, and it's 3 0. Uh, Freel in the corner with the puck. He recognizes he's got time and space. And uh, Harrison Scott just kind of sneaks in the back door. He's unguarded, and he's able to get a stick on it. Look, he's all alone. It actually goes five holes. To make a play, and Harrison Scott victimizes the Merrimack defense by just kind of sliding in the back door. I don't know why any, nobody would pick him up, but there he was, and good job by Friel to locate him and get him the puck in a place where he could just one-time this thing. Oh, it's Fowler on the follow-up! Check that, Charlie Russell on the follow-up of the original Fowler shot, and now Maine has scored twice in rapid succession to make it four zip. He did last night. I mean, they just come at Merrimack in waves and Charlie Russell ends up with his puck on the left side and watch as he kind of drives to the front of the net. Puck comes across to him. He's all alone. Nobody accounts. And Pierre to O'Connell as Boya got twisted around. Merrimack couldn't get a shot away. On to Misak who got it to Sacco. His shot off a leg wide and trying to stuff it. And forces Maine to turn over the puck and they get a couple of good opportunities. Turned over by Jurasevich and the shot. Maine is back on the verse and power play. We provide the power, you create the possibilities. This is the top unit that scored the goal on the first power play. Russell, score! Guess who? Thomas Friel on the tip. Maine five. Merrimack, nothing. Uh, off the faceoff, they get possession. Here's Charlie Russell from way out, but Maine's got bodies in front to provide a little bit of traffic. There's Thomas Friel, the power play specialist. Does he get a piece of it? No, I don't think so. Went Green unable to clear. Pierre 
A run into by Chabrier. Out front, Dano got it to O'Connell, stopped by in the corner. Got that to Jurasevich, one-timer. Nadeau stopped by Wallstrom. Friel re-enters the zone. Misak bodies him up. Watville run into by McCarr. Scott has it. Scott back to Russell. Now it's Holt. Russell. One-timer. Scott scores! That's two goals for Harrison Scott. Make it 6-0 made. High in the offensive zone, hold the, over to Russell. Beautiful slide, sliding pass across to uh, Harrison Scott right between his feet. All he's got to do is step into it, and he drives this puck past Walsh and short side. Oscar Komarov back to Dalton. Dalton shoots it, save Wallstrom, rebounds there for Calafir in the corner. Time runs out on the period. Maine will have a minute eight of power play time carry over into the third. And mercifully for Merrimack, the period ends after they give up four more. Uh, we've got a new man in net for the Merrimack Warriors. This is the third goalie used this weekend. This is freshman Ryan Kyes. Maine opening the period on the power play for another 53 more seconds. Green to Nadeau, and he cranked it off the puck. Fumbled it as he entered the zone, but Misak can't clear it. Scholey backhands to Breen, save, the rebound was there. Got it in the middle for Cranston, works it back for Powell. Now Bookman, seam pass makes it to Roy, and Boya makes the save. Back in with it comes Fitzpatrick, makes its way to Bookman. Bookman, broken up by Alvin Boya. Two goals already to Nadeau. Josh Nadeau, tipped, saved by Kai. Make that Russell, now Scott. And Russell, tipped by Friel, stopped by Kai's. McCarr has it, gives to Holt, penalty is over. One-timer Russell, stopped by Kai's again. In comes Weiland. Juhas make that save by Boya on the one. That's not Boya anymore, that's now Patrick Burzins. Ah. Saw Patrick Burzins now in the net, making his collegiate debut officially. He did play a period against Army without allowing a goal in the exhibition. Coming on for mop-up duty here for Albin Boya, who will go the entire weekend without allowing a goal. The Warriors will have some things to figure out, but Maine will feel very confident going to Boston College. Mark it zero again for Albin Boya and Patrick Burzins as Maine shuts out Merrimack for the weekend. Well, this is just a solid beatdown. There's just no other way to describe it. After uh, last night's performance, they come right back and drop six on Merrimack again. They wore out all their goaltenders and just uh, were relentless.